imagine dropping a 200 gram of ice into a bucket with one kilogram of water. Say the ice is initially at minus 10 degrees Celsius and the water is at 25 degrees. Find the final equilibrium temperature. So what we need to do is firstly draw a picture. So we're dropping ice into a bucket and there's water in it that's at 25 degrees and the ice is at minus 10 degrees. So first thing that's going to happen is the ice is going to heat up to its melting point which is zero degrees and where the energy for this is coming from the water so it's absorbing energy from the water so water will be cooling down but we don't know how much is cooled down just yet and then what's going to happen is the ice is going to melt it's going to melt to water at zero degrees and then it's going to heat up to some final temperature where it's at thermal equilibrium with the water that was already there the TF so during this whole process the water that was in the bucket the one kilogram water has cooled down from 25 to TF so we're into the calculation now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the energy that was absorbed by the ice cube and the, and the cold water away from um, the energy of the that was in the wa hot water already so to start off with we're going to figure out the energy absorbed to heat up the ice 0 0.2 uh, grams of kilograms of ice times the specific capacity of ice times the change in temperature 10 minus 0 ensuring that it's positive and then the energy required to melt the ice at 0 degrees 0 0.2 times 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 5 and then the energy required to heat it to 0 point um, to its final temperature which we don't know yet so now I'm using the specific capacity of water and because TF the final temperature of the, of the cold water that's seating up it's going to be higher than zero I'm going to TF minus zero so that's positive okay so if you expand this out it turns out it simplifies to 70200 plus 840 TF okay now the, all of this energy that's absorbed is coming from the hot water so this whole stage of hot water is cooling down from 25 degrees to some unknown temperature there to figure that out we need specific capacity of water again so we're going to do it's one kilogram of water in the bucket times 420 the specific capacity of the, of the water and now I'm going to do because this temperature 25 is going to be bigger than this one I'm going to do 25 minus TF to ensure it's a positive value that I'll be getting and I'm going to expand this. So if I expand this, I get oops, and then I'm going to equate it because we're assuming that all the energy that is lost by the uh, hot water is going to the ice, and nothing is being transferred to the surrounding. We're also assuming that the thermal heat capacity of the um, of the bucket is zero so we're ignoring the, uh, the fact that the bucket itself also has to um, heat up as well so if I equate this I should get and if I rearrange and then solving for TF you get 6.90 degrees Celsius okay 6.9 uh, degrees Celsius that and that's a reasonable answer because it's between minus 10 and 25 degrees